Hey everybody, Scott Sprintzer here from DocSports.com and welcome to our report for Wednesday, August 29th, 2018. Free pick coming up in a moment. If you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, give it a shot. All you got to do is click on the link below the video and you can set yourself up for a free $60 account. I think you'll be glad you did on Wednesday. Uh, last night, another baseball premium winner and a baseball premium and free sweep. We had the Reds here on the video and over at DocSports.com. A nice five-star win with the Atlanta Braves. That brings us to 18-6 and six in the month of August and up over $5,800 so far this month in Major League Baseball. And I'm telling you this because I got a top-of-the-ticket play going on Wednesday. One of Wednesday's sides rates seven-star status. It'll be posted on Wednesday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific, exclusively at DocSports.com. Also, be sure to check out the college and NFL football package over the, oh, packages over there. Uh, we're off to a 1-0 start in college. We cashed with Wyoming last week. That takes us to 102 and 67, 60% with our college football plays posted online going back about three seasons. You'll see all the numbers cruising across and scrolling across your screen. Uh, so be sure to check those out, the football packages and, of course, the seven-star baseball play on a Wednesday as we look to go to 19-6 and six in August baseball. Enough about that stuff. <laughs> Uh, want to mention because there's no real significant movement right now, at least from what we've seen, and we follow 15 sports books on my screen, uh, but no serious or significant movement as far as Major League Baseball betting lines overnight uh, for Wednesday's card. So I thought we'd go back and talk and touch on a little bit a Big Ten team and a wins total before I get to today's official free play. And this goes back about a month or so when we spoke about the uh, Big Ten and previewed that conference. But, you know, Indian Cowboy and I touched on this team, this program, on Tuesday night on a podcast that we've started in Las Vegas. That podcast, I'll let you know where that will be available in a couple of days. But the team, the organization, the wins total prop that we talked about, Illinois under four wins. Uh, even if it's three and a half, four might be tough to find right now, but even if it's under three and a half, I don't see the Illini winning three games this year, guys. And listen, Lovey Smith, I know he and his staff have gone out and recruited some decent young talent, but it's a year away from being matured as far as I'm concerned, for lack of a better term. And, and I don't even know if Lovey's going to be around to coach these guys when they get a little bit older, a little bit bigger, and a little bit quicker. Uh, I don't like him as a college football coach. Let's just say it like it is. Illinois has not shown improvement this program under Lovey Smith, he could be a lame duck coach if they don't get off to a good start. Here's the thing. They'll win week one, I would really believe they do, over Kent State. I'm not betting on Illinois in this game. and I'm not betting Kent State in this game. But I think they get off to a winning note against Kent State. The problem is, there ain't another game on their schedule for the Illini where I think they'll be a favorite in any of those games. So it's a situation where this team to win more than two football games I think is going to be a, a small surprise, a slight surprise. I played him under four wins. I get the fact that Lovey Smith has eight back on offense. I get the fact he's got eight back on defense. But I can't get on board with this coaching staff or this team. I played them under four. Again, if all you can find is three and a half, I do like that also. I really do. I think two wins tops for the Illinois Fighting Illini in 2018. And that will probably signal the end for Lovey Smith. All right, let's get to our college football, excuse me, to our Major League Baseball free play for Wednesday. First, again, the quick note, uh, the seven-star baseball play for Wednesday will be available at DocSports.com after 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. And again, don't forget to check out those football packages. All right, free play for Wednesday after the cashing last night with the Reds. We're going to jump on the Atlanta Braves for the free play. They were our premium play last night, as we saw last night. The Tampa Bay Rays are not the same team on the road as they are at home, and that eight-game winning streak has gone by the wayside. Pitching didn't go so well. Fielding didn't go so well. And they've lost all three of their games uh, against the Braves this season. Now, Atlanta, they've won nine of the last 12 home games uh, against right-handed starters. They've won five of Sean Newcomb's last six starts. And his manager, after a couple of bad outings, gave him an extra day off. And he came out and he pitched lights out his last outing. Well, he gets that extra day off again here going into this game, and I think we'll see another strong performance out of Newcomb. As far as Tampa Bay, you know what they're going to do. Diego Castilla starts, probably pitches one or two innings. He's gone, and then it's all relief pitchers coming in. And again, you know, to finish this game, and again, they're just not the same on the road as they are at home. We're going to back the Atlanta Braves, our free baseball play for Wednesday. Again, the Atlanta Braves. Check out the seven-star premium play 
over at DocSports.com on Wednesday. If you like what you see, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We appreciate those who have done so thus far. We'll have a lot of college football to talk about on Thursday's report, and we'll be right back here with that 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific time on Thursday. Let's put Wednesday in the win column right back here tomorrow. Best of luck on Wednesday. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com.